Coming up. Well, it happens several times a year. More homeless people appear on the streets of downtown Bakersfield, typically as it gets extremely hot or cold. But this year, it seems a record number of people are sleeping on the streets and parks and forming camps. And while outreach and enforcement have helped alleviate issues in certain areas, some parts of town are seeing a surge in the number of people on the streets. And I went to investigate first joining up with BPD's special unit on the front lines of helping the homeless and transient populations get off the streets. It's an issue that's been out of sight, out of mind. Lake 1, 10 with 2 on the north side of the river. But the face of homelessness in Bakersfield is coming into full view. In a community with a sizable homeless and transient population, this summer it seems... How long you been homeless? There's been a surge. It's like six months. Six months. BPD senior officer Bill Routh, part of the department's impact unit, says the issue of chronic homelessness that in recent years has been confined to tucked away corners of Bakersfield. It, it, it seems like there's more people is no longer in the shadows. Police department. Something that keeps his 12 officer unit constantly on the move. First thing we notice is three shopping carts. Our focus on our unit, we try to help the homeless off the streets. Um, we use different resources that we have available. Ralph and other officers responsible for monitoring the city's historic hotspots for chronic homeless and transient individuals. I'm in a program, uh, Freedom House, I got an ankle monitor. Working with businesses and residents downtown to create doing? safe streets and reduce crime. Police department. But those historic hotspots are quieter these days. Nobody's inside this one. There's the former tent city off South Union Avenue. There was numerous tents. They actually had their own mayor. Nearly so vacant during our visit, with the exception of this tent that popped up just last week. It's a sign that code enforcement will come out and post their camps. They'll put the date on there. And at the banks of the Kern River behind Sam Land, the vegetation's overgrown, which makes it ideal for camps. A place where just last year officials say hundreds of homeless encampments could be found. But on our visit, a different story. The full and flowing Kern River moving many people away, cutting the number of homeless encampments like this one right over here in half. In the past, cut into it. And while it's good news fewer camps are being found, the devil, Ralph says, are in the details. He suspects many of these individuals have packed up and moved on, but into other parts of our city. A lot of people that just are walking from point to A to point B aimlessly with no rhyme or reason. So those folks have, they need somewhere to go. So naturally they start, you know, going on the streets. Mission director Carlos Baldovino says many homeless individuals have begun to show up in Old Town Kern and right outside the mission at Kern County. So we have seen an influx of folks these past three months that we probably have not seen in a long time. Baldovinos, who has more than a decade experience in serving homeless individuals and those battling substance abuse, says the increase in the homeless population here is a multifaceted issue. From the downturn in the oil economy to an increase in opioid abuse and water in the river, all factors to more people flooding the streets. That's what we're dealing with each and every day here at the Mission, here in Old Town Kern. And you know, there's just so much you can do. And while the sense is there are more homeless people who have not found shelter, recent numbers released by the Kern County Homeless Collaborative paint a different picture. According to the 2017 Homeless Census, the only official metric in Kern County tracking the number of homeless individuals, the county saw a 24% decrease in the homeless population year over year. The census also showing homeless individuals using drugs and alcohol down anywhere between 30 and 60%. Facilitators of the census have long said the count is not a finite representation of the actual homeless population, rather a snapshot in time. And that's the barrier. Leaving service providers like the Mission at Kern County to continue to adjust their plans when more people are needing help. We have to come together. There has to be more education on some of the underlying issues like the opioid abuse. It's everyone getting involved and doing something because this is our community. Have you ever thought of like flood ministries or going to women's shelter. And back on the front lines, where a helping hand is offered, police and service providers continue the mission. Would you like services also or? Can't hurt. Helping people find a life of purpose. 
Now it's unclear exactly how many more homeless or transient people may be living on the streets right now and whether it's led to an uptick in crime. BPD doesn't track those statistics, but one here I think uh, thing I hear from police, community leaders, business owners, they encourage people do not uh, give people money, the panhandlers yeah. that may be around town, and also the food that you may be getting out from a restaurant leftovers. They say that contributes to a large uptick in people in certain areas. They say the best advice, steer them towards an organization, an organization. or give money yeah. that can help. Great idea. All right, thank you, Tim. All right.